Hey guys, most of the students will get the answer as option C, that is zero. But it is wrong. The correct answer is option D, that is none of the above. Let's see how it is. Let's look at the statement of the problem once again. Wheel one perimeter is given as two meter, and wheel two perimeter is given as one meter, and the velocity of the first wheel is one meter per second, and the velocity of the second wheel is two meters per second. Then after ten seconds. Wheel one will going to cover the distance that is equal to velocity into time, which is nothing but one meter per second into ten seconds. That will be equal to ten meters. Now let us look at wheel two. Distance covered by wheel two equals to velocity into time. That is equals to two meter per second into ten seconds time. And it will come down to be equals to twenty meter. This means that wheel one will going to cover ten meters linear distance, and wheel two will going to cover twenty meters of linear distance. This is initial position of both the wheels. Now, after ten seconds, as we calculated the distance travelled earlier, now the wheel one will going to cover ten meters of distance, and wheel two will going to cover twenty meters of distance. Now the gap between both of these two centers will going to be equal to how much? That is twenty meter minus ten meter. Effectively, it will be equal to ten meter. So the final answer is option D. That is none of the above, but not option C. So the correct answer is none of the above. So guys, if you enjoy this question, please connect to my channel. So in future, I will going to upload more of these kind of questions. Thank you.